Yo, it's me, Drizzy Drake, your certified lover boy. Hope you enjoyed the album. Hi, my name is Josh, and today I'm gonna to be going over five different things that you can do every day to become a better music producer. Let's get into it. Number one on the list is looking for new samples and loops. Samples and loops are the foundation of music, and so this is something you really don't want to neglect. The higher quality your samples and sound selection are from the beginning, the better your beats are gonna be overall. If you have the budget, there are a couple that I would recommend. Things like Wave Supply, Splice, waves.com and Kingsway. All of these are amazing options that are really gonna help get your productions to the next level right off the bat. If you don't have the money to spend right now, no need to worry. There are places like Looperman, YouTube, you can do a quick Google search. There are tons of free kits and loops out there that you can use that are just as good as a lot of the paid options. That brings us to number two on the list, which is to keep your samples and sessions organized. I know it's not fun, but it's also one of the most important and is gonna help save you a lot of time in the long run. There is nothing more frustrating than looking for a project and not being able to find it. After you're done working on a beat, make sure it's labeled and in the correct folder. A quick tip you can use is to save your bounces of the song or the beat that you made as the name of the project file. This way, if you're listening to it on your phone in the car later and you wanna go back to it, or just come back to it a year later, you'll know what project file that it's in and we'll be able to easily find it. Now, there are a lot of different ways you can organize your files, but the way that I would personally recommend doing it is by genre, date, and a specific adjective that'll make you think of this particular idea. For example, let's say it's September 1st and you're making a Drake type beat. So I would do September 1st or 9-1 Drake and then maybe upbeat if it's like a hype beat or vibey if it's a more laid back kind of track. I remember so many times when I first started out, I would have a bounce of the idea and want to go back and work on it, but I wouldn't be able to find the project file. If this is you, start organizing today. I know it's not fun, but it's going to save you so much headache and time that you could be spending on making new music. Number three on the list is to listen to music critically. This has a couple of benefits. The first is training your ears. The more you listen to professional music and analyze what is going on, the more quickly you will be able to make your music sound on level both in sound selection and in your mixing. Something to make sure that you're doing when you're listening is to think about certain elements in the song that you like. As you do this for more and more songs, you can begin to take the elements you like the most from different songs and put them together. This is ultimately how you're gonna create your own unique sound as a producer. Number four on the list, and one of the most obvious, is practice. One of the hardest things to figure out as an upcoming producer is what to practice on. How can I best use my time to become a better producer? Here are a few quick tips that I think will really help out. The first thing you can do is what I call the copy method. Listen to a song where you love the production and would love to be able to create something like that. Your goal in your practice session is to remake the entire instrumental from start to finish in terms of sound selection, drums, mixing, etc. If this is overwhelming and you're just starting out, pick even a certain part of the song, maybe it's a drum pattern, maybe it's a chord progression, and take that and try to recreate just that. By doing this every single day, you're gonna be building up your toolbox as a producer. It's almost like being an artist. When an artist goes to paint on a canvas, they have a wide array of colors to choose from. As they gain more experience over time, they'll know what colors work best to achieve certain looks on the canvas. They'll also be able to combine those colors to create new possibilities that they never would have imagined beforehand. This is one of the fastest ways to become a better producer and it's something you should really be taking seriously if you wanna grow quickly. Number five is one of the things that I think most producers massively overlook but think is really simple and that is mindset. If you wanna be the best, you have to operate like the best. People like Dr. Drake, Kanye, Drake have massive belief. You need to be verbally expressing outwardly every single day your desire, willingness, and drive to get better. Something that's also really critical is establishing your why. Why did you get into music? Did you wanna get placements? Did you wanna build with artists? Did you wanna just make music to bump with your friends in the whip? Did you wanna do all of the above? Clarifying this is one of the most foundational and crucial things you can do as a music producer. Once you establish your why, you need to be meditating on that daily. Whether taking 10 minutes when you first wake up or 10 minutes right before you go to sleep, visualize exactly where you're at and exactly where you want to be going in the future. Try to add more emotion and passion into this because those feelings are gonna keep you going on those days that you wanna quit. Everyone has those days. It's who has a better system in place to keep them going on those hard days. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope these tips helped. I know they definitely would have helped me at the beginning. If you have any more questions, let me know down below. Subscribe to the channel and hope you have a good day. See you soon.